Welcome back to another Woody Bumnut episode. In this episode, we're going to go over to the west coast of Tasmania, taking in some of Tasmania's most epic scenery, doing a bit of forward driving, seeing some awesome sunsets, beach driving, as well as paddle boarding around some of the lakes. We'll check out some of the free camps along the way, do a little bit of fishing. We're traveling with two dogs and a silver crested cockatoo, which makes life quite interesting as we go around. Subscribe, like us, and follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Cheers, let's go. Check out the view at Granville Harbour, right on the west coast of Tasmania, looking out into the Tasman our, Sea. In case the wind stops, we've got our own big fans to keep us cool. <laughs> <laughs> down before we took off. Here we go. Back in Jesus, I've always got to get Chalky's bits at the end. He always leaves his... I don't know where the other maxi track is. Anyway. Got under your 
So let's see how we go. I'm gonna have a swim in the Tasman Sea. So it's gonna be bloody cold, but here we go. Oh, yes, it's cold, it's cold. Oh, yes, but I made it. Oh, he's on, he's on, look out. Oh, oh, cheek. Okay, woohoo, this is your third today. Get out of it, dude! How gorgeous is this beach? I think it's Stingray Beach. Oh, it's a bit cool too. Oh, it's a bit cool! <laughs> Doing an early morning bike ride along Macquarie Beach. You got the so here we are in Macquarie Harbour. There's two lighthouses. There's one right in front of us there. It's a little bit past, you probably can't see it. But um, it's only a 120 metre stretch between the two bits of land there. And this was called the gates of hell by the convicts in the 1800s um, yeah so it's a very shallow straight piece of water that's hell for boats and it was very notorious as far as sailing through here with 40 to 50 winds as well so that's why they called it the, the gates of hell trying to get through here you wouldn't think so looking at it like this, but it gets bloody windy out here. A little bit of an explorer on the mountain bike today, um, this morning. So just heading around Quarry Harbour, all the back streets. And I'm not going to get into too much sand because if I get into too much sand, or I'll crash it. Chalky's got his first fish. Get out of my fucking way, dog. First fish at Macquarie Harbour. And it's a little cocky salmon. <laughs> Just doing a little walk up through the state forest here at Strawn um, at Macquarie Harbour. So I found a couple of little tracks. So dude and Harley and I are just going for a little walk, see what we can find. we've come right around the back of the campground here at Macquarie Harbour so hopefully we'll um, come across the ocean very shortly if not we've got a little way to go yet well I've come out at the west side of the beach a little bit further away from the camp than what I thought but uh, anyway I've got a long trip back 
Well, we decided to drive what Dude and Harley and I walked half an hour ago. And uh, yeah, just got a little bit stuck, just near the entrance to the beach. So we nearly got across right through. And anyway, that's what we bought Maxi Tracks for. Have a bit of fun in the sand. I love seeing my husband work like this. Yeah, we haven't got far to go. Only Dolly. I think an ant or something has bitten him. Anyway, they're both nice and comfy in their jackets. Coming into town, mate. <laughs> Where are we staying? Where are we staying, mate? Can you see, dude? Keep an eye out for those little shorty land cruisers, mate. We're looking for a shorty land cruiser. Righty, eh? You keep an eye out, mate. Yeah, look around. Keep an eye out. Yeah, look around. Coming into the town of Strawn. It's quite little old houses. And this is where you get the boats to go on the cruises. Check this out. This is a dog play area. So you can bring your dogs to Strawn, book in, and have them looked after for the day if you go on a cruise up the Gordon. Come in and see Sherry at the pet shop, and she will look after the dogs, take them for a walk, and check out this little play area. It's $50 a day per dog, but that's pretty cool when you want to go for a cruise and you want your dogs looked after. Heading into Hogart Falls, walking track, 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back. They've got this wood. Water Arch is a short little walk through the rainforest. It's Australia's largest um, cool climate rainforest. And yeah, a nice little walk. And then there's an arch at the end of it uh, with a sinkhole. Very, very interesting and beautiful. Easy little walk through the rainforest. Here we are at the arch. This was created by the collapse of a cave 
and the creation of two sinkholes either side of it. One was dry and one was water filled. Gonna do the short walk, the 15 minute walk through the milkshake hills. Um, we're not gonna do the summit because it's a bit foggy. So we won't see much if we do that. But this was burnt out in 2016. So it's um, trying to recover again. And again, dogs are not allowed. So the boys had to stay in the car. And honestly, I think Chalky would have uh, liked to have stayed in the car too. <laughs> Seems he, he's not uh, he's not happy about going for a walk. Anyway, at least he doesn't have to go to the summit. No, that would not happen. This uh, <laughs> the sinkhole along the Tarkine Trail. Going to Dempster Plains Lookout. This is along the Tarkine Circuit Drive, and this is the first piece that we can take the dogs and Miss Woody to. So a lot of it is you can't take pets, but it's usually only about a 15-minute walk or something into each place. So we've left them in the car, but this one we can take them. So off we go to the lookout. Here. I reckon Miss Woody's gonna be blown off the bloody platform. Hold on, Woody. Get blown away. This is the Julius Creek um, caravan motorhome place where you can pull in for a free stay. It's not that big, so if you've got large caravans, it's gonna be pretty tight, especially if there's more caravans in here. So an idea but yeah that's all it is where we are here so it's quite small so it's got a large van don't even bother with it so the Julius River Rainforest Walk it's a 30 minute walk through the rainforest and in autumn and winter, apparently there's an abundance of coloured fungi, so it'll be quite pretty, I should imagine. Sumac lookout, looking at the Arthur River, overlooking the Tarkine Rainforest. Radio, here we are on the edge of the world, here on the west coast of Tasmania, northwest coast of Tasmania. Chalky's having a coffee because it's cold.
Let's go to the pub. Let's go to the pub. Let's go to the pub.